Hi YouTubers, today I want to make a video about how we should treat other people. How should we view and treat the people that we meet in everyday society, like our workmates, our friends, the people we relate to, we might be in a relationship with. How should we as human beings treat other people? Now, obviously this is just my opinion. So if you want to treat other people different from what I'm saying in this video, fine, you do what you want. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion on how we should treat other people. Now, my opinion on how you should treat other people is according to Philippians verse two, sorry, chapter two, verse three, which says basically, be humble and value others above yourself. In other words, you don't necessarily believe other people are better than you, but you treat them as if they are better than you. And the thing is, if you are really secure in yourself, your own identity, who you are in Jesus Christ, you will have no problem doing that. Because when a person is vain, self-obsessed, entitled, having a, a lofty and high opinion of themselves, there's something lacking inside of that, those people. Okay? If you are a person who has to wear the trousers, who has to be above other people in your thinking, who has to put other people down, destroy other people, who has to be a cut above others, you inside are lacking. Very much human beings often betray a facade on the outside which tries to hide what they are on the inside. In other words, if you are somebody who feels timid and weak, and scared and insecure, you will present a front that is completely opposite to that. You will reject people, you will push people away, you will hurt people. Not all the time. Some people are truthful to how they feel inside. Some people, if they do feel insecure, they do act insecure, but mostly people don't act that way. Usually if a person's acting really, really insecure, they're probably more secure than the people who don't act insecure, but are insecure inside. What I mean by that is, you can be as bold as a lion on the outside and as timid on a, as a mouse on the, on the inside. Not always the case. It's better to be bold on the inside and bold on the outside. But the thing is, if you're a bold person on the inside, you will know how to demonstrate that boldness in a way that doesn't cause other people pain, doesn't make yourself above other people, doesn't push yourself further above other people. You see, one thing I really, really hate in this life is arrogance. I'm not saying I hate arrogant people, because people are people, and people don't know what they do, right? I'm not saying that I hate anyone. I don't hate anyone. There's no one in this life I hate, right? But I do hate certain attitudes and certain behaviours. And the attitude and behaviour of arrogance, thinking you're better than somebody else, is something I really hate because that shows me that you're an insecure person inside. You are. I'm sorry, right? If you've got to try and be a cut above me, if you've got to try and unsert me, that means you care to destroy me. Why? If you're a secure person, if you know who you are, if you know what you're about, you have no need to try and destroy anyone else, do you? Really, do you? No. No, you don't right you don't have to talk down about people sometimes we do have to share the truth in love to, to get people off of the the sort of negative track sometimes we might have to say things to people that are a little bit hurtful but the way we do that should be in, in a humble manner see your attitude is always more important than your words because it's your attitude that demonstrate whether you love or you care for those people or not not your words See, a person can say, I'm saying this out of love, and their attitude can be all wrong. Then there's a person who can say it quite straightforwardly, but because they're sincere and they're pragmatic about loving in the way that they put themselves across, people are happy to accept that. So it's really, really important. The number one thing, treat people as if they are better than you. Not believing that they are better than you, but treat people as if they are, if, as if they are better than you. OK, put people first, right? Genuinely do it. Do it gen generally, genuinely, sorry. 
Do it genuinely. Be genuine with people, right? Don't be somebody who resents treating people well. Know that Jesus loves you, right? Know that you're valued by him. I understand there might be some non-Christians watching this who don't know Jesus or don't want to know Jesus. But my opinion, be loved by Jesus. Know that you're valued by him. You don't need anything else. If you've got that, you don't need it. Right? I'm in my life. I live on my own at the moment, okay? I'm loving that, right? I love I love my friends, don't get me wrong. But I love, you know, if I'm feeling down or miserable, I just praise the Lord. It's, it's so easy. Yeah, I'm not saying I never get down, but if I do get down, I know what to do about it. And that's the most fundamental important thing, really, in all of this, is knowing what to do about it. Some people, when they feel down, they go out and they give that misery to everybody else out there. Don't. Be responsible for your feelings. Own your feelings. Do something about it, yeah? Before you take that those feelings out there and destroy somebody else. We fall down. We all do it. I'm not, I'm not judging you. We all fall down. We all take our feelings out there and display them and hurt people. But try not to do that. Find some way of expressing yourself. If you're not a Christian and you don't want to worship the Lord, find somebody else. Go, go somewhere tranquil uh, to a park or something. Uh, let it out. Scream out somewhere. You know, just do something and then don't offload it to it and then everybody else. A friend might be there to listen, but that's different. Okay? So treat people as if they are better than you and you will have better results. You'll be better with other people. Thank you for watching.